Like a used car lot, that's how police describe a massive encampment in the Four Corners Natural Area out in Northeast Portland. And this is only on Queen 6 tonight. We're following along as authorities tow away at least 60 vehicles and the damage to the area that's left behind. Elise Haas joins us live with how that effort is going right now. Elise? The city tells me that the big Four Corners Natural Area has become a big problem in the last couple of years. And then in the last Two months alone, they tell me that the number of stripped vehicles and the amount of trash has grown tremendously, that they had to go in and stop it. This week, the city hired tow truck companies to come to the big Four Corners natural area to tow away upwards of 60 vehicles in northeast Portland. And there was needles all over the ground. Everywhere you look, there was a needle. Um, we had collected several bags of them. Um, trash bags of needles. <clears throat> There's uh, thousands of car parts everywhere torn apart. I mean, this is just a typical camp. The tow truck driver preferred to keep his face off camera because of how aggressive the people in this homeless camp had been toward them, but said it's hard work to move cars without wheels and boats. Plus, they had to excavate nine engine blocks found stuck in the ground. It's a struggle because you feel bad for people who are dealing with houselessness, but you could see here, this is beyond that. This has gone into criminal activity. Portland police say people were stripping cars and chopping down trees as they built a private world back here. Authorities are still investigating just how many cars found here were stolen. This would have been like a used car lot down here. 69 vehicles were requested to be towed. I would say a majority of them are stolen. Due to the size of the problem here, a full remediation will require city crews working full time for at least three weeks, meaning the city will have to pause operations on other high impact homeless camps. Very short staff, but um, you know, I think the mayor sees that and that's why he's created this coordination team to come out here and deal with these livability issues. However, no arrests were made and only one person took up the city's offer for shelter. You come out here, you clean it up, and shortly after, they're back to doing business. And then you have to repeat that cycle. So far, the city estimates removing trash in vehicles has cost $30,000. Significant progress has been made here, but there are more vehicles left to tow. And although this site is one of the city's top priorities, many Portlanders know there are hundreds of encampments that are throughout the city that they are trying to keep up with. And right now, the city also has to prioritize their safe routes to school and encampments that are near schools, as well as those long-standing camps that they have yet to be able to deal with. But they do hope to be able to fully remediate and clean up the Big Four Corners natural area by the end of September before our rainy season begins. In Northeast Portland, Elise Haas, Point Six News.